A dame that knows the ropes isn't likely to get tied in them. Vinyl guru in the house. Here to talk to you today about a little thing I've been seeing in the interwebs about uh, picking albums from A to Z and plucking away at them and talking. And no, not talking about plucking the eyebrows. I'm talking plucking good records. So let's dive, sweethearts. Let's deep dive. Vinyl Guru, ah, ah, Vinyl Guru. Vinyl Guru. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to start from Z to A. Because it seems as though we do meet most people from back to front. Okay. So, I'm not gonna pick Zappa, I'm not gonna pick Zappa, I'm not gonna pick very obvious choices here, so let's make this fun, okay? This is gonna be ZZ Ward, fabulous if you like, you know, that blues tone, all that kind of stuff. I've actually seen her play with Gary Clark Jr. Great stuff, fun, great, fabo. Yard beds, look at his baby face. Lovely, okay. Let's keep this moving, folks. Uh, this is Sharon Van Etten. You know, we get them squiggles, honey. But Sharon is fabulous because Sharon, uh, this this was her latest record, and I really love it. This The, the vibe on this album, really, not sonically, but presence-wise, really reminds me of Patti Smith. I love it. Uh, the song 17, her, her hit off this, wow, gorgeous. And I love the producer who produced on this. He's just a uh, killer, killer, killer producer right now. Bobby Womack, this is my favorite Bobby Womack record, but uh, my prescription's so good, I don't need any medication. What? Witchfinder General, this is exceptional. This was a really early Record Store Day release. I don't remember, like the early days of Record Store Day. And this is so good, it tastes so good in the mouth, honey. A lot of the songs on here are Friends, Love on Smack, Friends of Hell. This is this is really, really good stuff. And look at the cover, honey. Look at the tomfoolery, honey. Oh my gosh. The presents. She outrageous. She outrageous, and we like it. Kali Uchis, Isolation. This is a Urban Outfitters press. This is a limited uh, red vinyl press. It kind of goes for a lot now, but this album is exceptional front to back. A lot of great different musical um, nuances in it, genre-wise, so she gives you quite nice palette tastes in the back, the front, and the mid tongue range. Okay, Timber Tambra, this is a Canadian act. Really love them, Timber Tambra. That's how you spell the name. And this is the album Dreams, uh, Hot Dreams. This is the album that got me into them, okay? They're very, very good if you like that Nick Cave, you know, deep vocal type thing. I was hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. Predictable for me at this point. I do love my talking heads. I try to talk to them a lot, about them a lot. Okay, you must Mac, love her vocal. She has a range, darlings. She was from the mountains, so she has this like eight octave range, but just exceptional. Crazy, craziness. Okay, Sylvester, so good. Cause he makes me feel, make me feel. My real. Good times, good times. My favorite Lou Reed album, Coney Island, baby. That we shake it 1974 madness. Queens of Stone Age didn't want to pick Queen again, like so boring, so predictable, right? Uh, Queens of Stone Age villains. This is one of my favorite albums of theirs, and it actually got a lot of mixed bag, mixed reviews, mixed uh, reception from the fans because they chose Mark Ronson as the producer. Uh, you know, they didn't want a hit maker, I guess, but it's not like he's a hit breaker, so I don't understand, okay. Uh, Power of Zeus, I feel like this one a lot of you would know. Great. Great. Oh, the piece, Black Power. This is phenomenal if you like that uh, soul funk, Zamrock vibes. Exceptional. And you know, now, now again, the label, they put out some of the best stuff out there. I love them. I love them. Do your research, honey. Scribble. Homework. 
Okay, Shuggy Otis, really, really great. This guy is a super underrated guitar player. He should have been as big as some of the big ones, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, Fecal Matter. This is really, we're in the end now because this is Nirvana. This is early Nirvana. This is, I'm sure a lot of people would, would want to pet their paws on that one. Naked Giants, I discovered these two years ago. They put this album out and the song Slow Dance. I remember that one being uh, magnet, magnetizing to me. Indie rock, you know, that, that kind of indie rock vibe. Uh, this is killer. Killer dancehall reggae vibes. Robert is his, his, this is his first album. Really rare now to get, but uh, re great, great, great. I love it. Motorhead, love, love Motorhead. Loved Lemmy. I seen him a month before he passed. Um, I have a lot of great Lemmy stories. I met him quite a few times and he called me Legs. I loved it. Love you too, Lem. Okay. Uh, this is a new act that I discovered. They opened for somebody I really love, and they're called uh, the London Souls, or a duo act. Really good stuff. I bought their record instantly after seeing them. They were really great. And this is one of my favorite artists of this generation. Her voice, uh, her production style, uh, she just she's out there. I love it. This is Kimbra Vows, her first record. Not that easy to find now, but alas, we do what we must. This is Japan, a super underrated band. Freaking love Japan. I don't know why not enough people talk about Japan, but the lovely Darling Obscure, one of my favorite uh, albums of theirs, to be honest. So, so fun, so tasty, so magical, so nice in the mouth. The palettes, darling. Speaking of wonderful palettes, although this does look like a disco record, uh, Isley. Isley Brothers, you can't go wrong, my dear. Can't go wrong. Another wonderful palette is Chris Isaac, darlings. This guy has an exceptional voice, really wonderful musical arrangements. I've been looking for a heart-shaped world forever on wax, ever since I seen it in the store and refused to pay, you know, it's like 70 bucks at the time or whatever. I really regret it. I wish it, I wish I spent the money now, but alas, we live, we learn, we see, we do. Um, Eddie Hazel, dames, game dames, and guitar things. Woo! We. This should have been, he should have been like as big as Hendrix, the guitar player of Parliament Funkadelic, the crazy maggot brain spirit that is uh, Eddie Hazel. He's amazing. So if you're liking what you're seeing so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like, type a little thing if you know something here and there, if you're enjoying it. Okay. Okay. Let's carry on. It's such a good list. I know. I know, honey. We'll keep it going. We'll keep this train moving. Another weirdo is Nina Hagen. I love her. She is this German. She's like German Kate Bush to me. Her voice is so weird. Her arrangement's so crazy. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely talk a little bit more about Nina Hagen to you guys. I definitely think you guys, you, the weirdos out there, I'm looking at you, Eric. I know you like some weird. You'll appreciate that one. This is gonna be, uh, a project of Nick Caves, a side project. This is Grinder Man. See Nicky, Uncle Nick. He blessed, he blessed Grinder Man. I love that album. No Pussy Blues is such a good song. Uh, this is Friggs. This is a Canadian Torontonian band. Friggs. They're really great. And they actually are. I discovered them off this, and then I, I when I seen Orville Peck, I was shocked to see that they're actually his opening or his his backing band. They play for Orville Peck now, which is pretty great. I'm sure a lot of people know Orville Peck now. He's a new, big new artist. This is Feist, a pleasure. My, one of my favorite Feist records. It's very PJ Harvey-esque. Phenomenal. That raw guitar sound, that scratch vocal. I love it. Um, another Canadian. Uh, this is Eurythmics. Okay, so I discovered Eurythmics off of this song, Sisters. And uh, that's why I'm showing this single. But I, I really love this because I'm like, wow, she sounds, she's always sounded like she's got that, you know, like she's a black sister. Like I never seen Annie Lennox as a white chick. She, I know, I know she looks. Don't let the looks, don't let this fool you, honey. She got a black soul, honey. And this is my favorite album of theirs. I mean, I, come on, 
Here comes the rain again. Are you kidding me? That's a tune, darling. Speaking of fun tunes, they actually were in a band called The Tourists before being in the Eurythmics. Did you know that? Fun fact. So check them out, Tourists. Pretty, pretty good, pretty, pretty nice. And uh, Down, I love Down. Uh, Billy Hurst, Harmless Rebel, and, and I, we were discussing Down yesterday or the other day. Uh, they, were, they were discussing it in, in a chat and I was so agreeing with them. Down, a phenomenal, phenomenal project. I love it. I couldn't agree more with that first record, by the way, uh, Steve. Okay, so this is Deep Valley. Deep Valley are exceptional. They are like, again, like a two-piece white stripe kind of thing, you know, like these white stripes. Uh, but there are two chicks, two babes that do it. Really killer. I've been looking for their first album, um, Sistrionics. I've been looking for that on vinyl ever since it came out. It didn't really have a big release in here on my side of town, which is frustrating because they are on Interscope, so that always confused me. Big label, universal, come on. Be more universal, honey. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is Alice Coltrane. Gotta love Alice Coltrane. This is one of my favorites of hers. Okay, we're looking at the beginning of the end. We're at B's now. This one's for DJ Funk. I know you know this record. This is a phenomenal body of work, okay? <laughs> uh, Miss Ruth Brown. This is amazing if you like that, that rhythm, honey. Rhythm, okay. It's literally called Miss Rhythm, but I'm not, I'm not kidding, it's, it's really rhythmic. Okay, Alpha Blondie and the Whalers. This is really killer stuff. Um, okay, the story is, this guy's from Africa. He's not even Jamaican, but the Whalers love him so much. He loves the Whalers so much. He stalked the Whalers to try to get them to work with him. And uh, it's such a good vibe, sweethearts. The song off the title track of this, Jerusalem, it's really, really good. And he's, you know, he's all about unity and bringing them together, peace, love, harmony. Okay, so if you don't know what this is, this is, of course, the classic ABBA. This is Agneta Folsing from ABBA. And they did, everybody did solo records previous to joining the wonderful concoction, the mad scientist brew that is ABBA. But their solo stuff, just as good, darlings, just as good. It's actually a Swedish act I'm really loving that are hard to find on vinyl called um, Monica Zetelung. If anybody in Sweden can find that for me, I'd love you. I'd love you forever. Anyways, darling, uh, outside of the weird side notes, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you liked what you've seen. And don't forget to uh, toodaloo with me, guys. Can I get an amen? Toodaloo, darlings. Toodaloo.